I'm taking over as Jacksonville State's head coach as they make the transition to FBS and join Conference USA. Now, as you can see, this is not the normal Conference USA, but this is one that I feel like we have a chance to compete in. I've updated some of the conferences, not all of them, but as you can see, we've got a little bit of a twist on some of these, but there are a couple stipulations that go along with this dynasty. First thing is the plan of attack. Starting off, we are going to develop JSU from a one-star program to a four-star program within five years. After that, we're going to focus on winning championships and just winning Conference USA championships. Again, this is a transition period. After we win 10 in a row, we're going to move up to Power 5 and the SEC. Then, after 50 years with Jacksonville State, we're going to return to my alma mater, Alabama, and finish out the last 10 years of the dynasty. Now, again, a couple more stipulations. Recruiting will all be done manually. There will be no help from the computer. All games will be played via coach mode because, after all, I'm trying to become the greatest coach of all time. You don't do that by playing the games yourself. One-year delay. I'm recruiting only for the first season, so that's what you're going to see in this video. And then the offense we will run will be a variation of the triple option, the veer. It's like Novocaine. Give it time. It always works. Another little unique twist for this dynasty is, as you can see, Everybody on this team are freshmen. We are starting with all freshmen across the board to give us a little bit of a true transition feel to it. So everyone will be freshmen to start out, which is going to allow us to do a little bit different approach to recruiting for the first two seasons. If you take a look at our recruiting board, we are targeting only four and five star guys spark 100 players at different positions we're pretty set at wide receiver we need some help on the uh, front seven and the secondary so that'll be the focus this year and we'll see what we can come up with again season one will be recruiting only so we'll see what we can pull out of our hat through week number five we are currently setting at three and one in the season as you can see we ranked 49th in points per game 26th in rushing offense 93rd in passing 49th in total d and 25th in pass defense turnover margin we are completely even there we look at our Player stats, Tayshawn Smoot, 65 attempts through four games. It's not bad, 482 yards. He's ran the ball 47 times for four touchdowns. And then Michael Petway, 12 receptions, 160 yards, and two touchdowns. So, But as mentioned earlier, we are only recruiting in this season. If you take a look at who we are currently targeting, we have a couple quarterbacks that we're going after. Uh, Rayshon Blair, number three quarterback, Scrambler, currently number two on his board. Charles Marshall, uh, I think I just started recruiting this guy like last week, so we're slowly climbing to get there. May have to go back off of him. Uh, then we got Christian Larson and Damian Patton, who we are both going after freshly this week. No halfbacks that we're spending any points on yet. Eric Smith, we are in sole control of a gym four-star. You look at him, 89 speed. He's an 80 overall. 80 spec catch, 78 catching traffic, 80 catching. Now, these guys I have not even went after in the slightest. Moving on to the tackle position. Just added this guy last week. Chance will get locked out, but we're going to pursue it regardless. Guard, no one yet. Center, still empty. None of these guys getting to the cornerback position. No one here either. Just not a lot of quality guys that we were able to go after that I felt confident in getting, so we backed off. We've got a couple athletes we're going after, though. This guy, quarterback, probably a quarterback, maybe a cornerback as well. And then same thing here. This guy's definitely a quarterback. And with that in mind, I may back off some of those quarterbacks. Let's just live evaluate this. I'm in sole possession, sole possession, sole possession. Yeah, I may go... Let's go back off some of those quarterbacks. Like that one. And that one. Let's use those points elsewhere. Maybe go after... 
four star, more bonus points. What about one of these guards? I could maybe go get one of the, okay, he's a bust. He went down, he's up, but do I get him? I don't know. Let's look at maybe one of these guys. Probably not, probably not. Not scouted. Let's finish scouting these guys, see if anything comes up with it. He's gonna go down, don't really need wide receivers. He's a bust. Don't think I'll be able to pull him. I guess I could go after Mr. Seth Childs here. We will do that, and then we will see you guys in uh, two or three weeks with an update. We have our first commit, Colt Daniels, the number 20 athlete, four-star out of West Virginia, six foot, 196 pounds, chose the Gamecocks over Penn State, Ohio State, Georgia, and Oklahoma. If you check out this guy, he is a speedster. He is a 82 overall corner, give or take, with man coverage, zone coverage, play wreck, and pursuit all pretty much high up there. Looks like he could also play a little receiver, maybe low 70 overall there. Quarterback, 80 throw power, 80 throw accuracy, so worse than the guys we have now with Smoot and Fry. But this guy could be one of those that ultimately finds his way onto the field as a true freshman. Also getting recruited, looks like by Bama, Michigan, LSU, and Notre Dame. So all Power 5 guys coming to the Ville. What a start and what a first commitment for the Gamecocks. Now I am going after this 69 overall tight end because he is a blocking tight end. So that could be of value down the line after a couple of red shirts. We are commanding lead on a lot of these recruits. We're going to scroll through here. We have 69 overall Lionel Smith. Four star, really the only reason I'm going after him. 73 overall wide receiver. We got 1,100 point lead there. 3,400 point lead with Damian Patton, number 11 quarterback, also a scrambler. Steven Harris, I think this guy's a quarterback as well. He is, could be a little bit better than what I have now, so we will see there. Eric Smith, 80 overall wide receiver. He was a gym. James Leach, uh, this guy, not sure what he is. Looks like he's going to be a quarterback as well we've also got james leach who we have a pretty good uh lead on here looks like he could be another quarterback as well 3500 point lead there kenny Irvin, a tackle that we're still kind of fighting with uh we're not locked out yet so i'm not going to give up just quite yet he took an early visit to us so we could still get in the ball game and then rashawn blair that visit for us is going to be crucial and we'll see what i can get out of him but that's where we stand. We did get our first commitment. That's what's important. And this guy will be a day one starter for us somewhere, somehow. Just like that, we're picking up two more recruits. This time it is Stephen Harris, four-star athlete, just behind Colt Daniels in the athlete category. If you check out him, like I said, probably going to end up being a quarterback. He's got 89 speed, 77 carrying. So could fit into our system very well. And then additionally, Eric Smith, the gym wide receiver we were able to find out of Idaho. This guy's got 89 speed plus six on the overall when I scouted him, 80 catching, 80 spec, 78 catching traffic, 83 route running, 93 carrying. So it could be a guy we fit in at our wing back position and see what we can come up with, uh, we'll see. We got seven more guys. Uh, that we're kind of locked out on him, so let's go ahead and take him out. Six more guys with a visit scheduled already. See if we can close some of these guys when they come and visit, I believe, this week. Just like that, another athlete on the board for the JSU Gamecocks. This time it is James Leach, the number 19 athlete. Again, probably a top-tier quarterback. Looks like he could possibly play maybe running back, wide receiver somewhere in there, but not his best position. Going to be a grade A quarterback in this offense. We've got Lionel Smith, who we were able to get a commitment out of, is a 69 overall line running back. So not the best guy we could have went and got, but he is a four-star, and that's going to help boost our uh, just overall and morale. Then we've got Seth Childs, number 23 overall wide receiver, four-star in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. 90 speed. Pretty good uh, receiving things. Probably just going to build this guy up. I don't think he's going to start next year, so he's going to redshirt 
and we'll play him hopefully as a junior and senior in this offense. Again, 93 carrying. Uh, we lost out Jason Frazier and Marcus Silva, who I wasn't going after anyway, and then Alf Earl Alfred, who was a bust, but he is a four-star guard. So that's just a little update. We're at week number the 14 in the season, I think. Yeah, week number 14, we're about to play JMU. We're currently 9-2. and two. They are 6-4, and four, so a very, very solid start to season number one for JSU. We made it to the Conference USA Championship game where we will face the one and only two-lane oh, – I can't even think of their mascot right now. Regardless, they end up, as you can see, pretty much just kicking our butt. This game really wasn't ever even close. We had a couple first-quarter turnovers via fumble. Um, like I said, it just got out of hand really quick and then kind of trampled down from there. Um, but – the takeaways are from this game, we were able to make it to the Conference USA Championship in our first season. Now, moving on, we have the college football playoff. This is how the playoffs for season one were decided. Florida State ends up coming on coming out on top against Clemson, 38-31 in the national championship, the Rose Bowl. You saw a couple surprise teams make it kind of far, Maryland and Arkansas. Uh, Florida made it to the semis. Kansas State made it to the semis. Uh, USC, of course, the number one seed gets bounced. No surprise there. But regardless, what a start to the first season of Jacksonville State's football uh, transition to the FBS. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at what – the recruiting cycle will look like and with signing day fin finally here you can take a look at our top class we signed the number 17 class in the nation six one stars that will probably never even make the roster we have blair miller four star the end another quarterback wide receiver athlete halfback athlete athlete wide receiver center and tight end all those guys will stay on the roster the other six one-stars probably will never make it. I don't imagine why they would. These other 11 or however many will. And ultimately, they are just going to be replacement guys for whoever I can find to replace. Keep in mind, this is a team of all freshmen. So when you take a look at our board, it looks pretty solid. None of those, those kickers didn't commit anywhere. I find that kind of weird. But regardless, there's our 79 overall D end. You've got... 60 overall center, he won't see the field. 81 overall quarterback, 78 overall athlete, 78 overall athlete, 79 overall athlete, 80 overall wide receiver, 69 halfback, 73 wide receiver, 73 quarterback, and a 69 overall tight end from Union Springs, Alabama. What a solid, solid first season for JSU. We're going to get ready for season two. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys soon.